something tells me it's gonna be busy today. Holy cow. It is a Saturday after all, so yikes. I'm holding for the camera. Yes, awesome. <laughs> Hello everybody, it is exactly 11 a.m. on this really kind of nice day of July 28th, 2018. Oh my gosh, the security line right now is packed, look. Good Lord. Oh boy. Yeah, it's gonna be busy today. Oh my gosh. This may be one of the busiest days for Universal Studios Hollywood. I'm betting we probably have around maybe close to 40,000 people showing up today. It's a madhouse. I was thinking of going on the studio tour today because I was planning on getting here early, but it's probably not gonna happen. In fact, I'm gonna check the wait times to see what's going on right now, see what's actually available. Let's find out. <laughs> oh yeah, it's not busy today. Look at that. It's 135 minutes for Forbidden Journey, 75 for Hippogriff, only 20 minutes for all of Vanders, 60 minute wait for the studio tour, 75 minute wait for Kung Fu Panda, Simpsons Rise at 50, Despicable Me's at 70, Lower Lot, Jurassic Park, 65 minutes, Mummy 45, Transformers, 55. Wow. Right by the Animation Studio store, and they got some merch. For Kung Fu Panda Adventure, also known as Kung Fu Panda The Emperor's Quest. I didn't see these in the other shop. And they were selling these in Universal Studios Store. A three movie collection. Kung Fu Panda, Kung Fu Panda 2, and Kung Fu Panda 3. I do have a Blu-ray, but it's through my PlayStation, which I rarely use. And to be honest with you, I've never seen these. <laughs> so here's the Universal Plaza, which recently reopened. Not a whole lot of activity going on here. You've got these working again. Mr. Ping's out by his noodle shop. His shop used to be over here, but now it's over there. Ooh, look at this. This looks like some kind of electrical device, maybe to power some sort of monster, perhaps. Right here at this maze for Halloween Horror Nights. Hmm, interesting. Interesting indeed. Here's a look at The Walking Dead right now. You can definitely see the impact where the helicopter was. And it's right there. No word as to whether they will be bringing it back when they reconstruct this whole area, but we will see. You can clearly see the houses from Despicable Me, Minnie and Mayhem right there. Maybe as a different wall on the other side, they can maybe extend it a little bit to make it look like it's a whole neighborhood. I don't know, that's just an idea, but it's probably too much work. But anyways, you can clearly see Despicable Me, Minnie and Mayhem now. This used to be the former home of Terminator 2 3D, which was one of my favorite attractions here at Universal. So this is another angle from where we could see the Globe Theater originally. Directly in front of me was where they had the entrance to the Globe Theater. In fact, the facade was right in the front. Remember last time we could see a part of the theater on its side, right in the front here. Now that's clearly been removed. And it's a much bigger area than you think, literally. No word as to what's being put here in this place, like nothing has been confirmed. There are rumors that there's gonna be a secret life of pets right here. Some, some people were saying in the comments section, oh, it's gonna be where Super Nintendo Land is. Well, thing is, Super Nintendo Land, if it does actually come here to Universal Studios Hollywood, it's gonna have not one, but two different attractions. And it's gonna be a huge land. It's gonna be like, probably a little bit bigger than the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Just saying. So, it's probably not gonna fit in that area. There are rumors flying around that this is gonna be the secret life of Pets Ride because, you know, you got Despicable Me, Mini and Mayhem and it's part of Illumination. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's questionable as to whether they'll actually put a ride here. I'm pretty sure they will at some point here, but we will see. So here's the backside of what was the Globe Theater from outside the park. You can clearly see the wall now where Walking Dead is. It looks like they set up this temporary perimeter here because I guess they didn't want people like myself seeing what's going on, on the other side. They 
completely blocked off the gates as well. So we got a wall up and the helicopter is gone. It's been gone out for about a week. Pretty sad. Gee, I wonder where I'm going to. We're going to Diagon Alley. I'm just kidding, it's Hogsmeade. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get Diagon Alley at some point, but right now we just have Hogsmeade and Hogwarts. There's the Hogwarts Express, everybody. That's pretty cool. What's that? I saw you two guys. Hey, how you doing? Good, Good to see you. you. Good to see you too. <laughs> hey, Sergio. Hey. Hey, Danny, how's it going? How you doing? Good, how are you? By the way, just letting you guys know ahead of time, this is the line for the lockers. That's in case if you have any backpacks or large bags. This is for both folks that have Express and also non-Express. Hey, Ashley. Hey. The one thing I enjoy about Forbidden Journey, the air conditioning. It is so nice in here. If you want to get out of the park when it's super hot, this is the place to be. Either that or Transformers, because Transformers is actually a little bit colder than here at Hogwarts. It can be a bit stuffy here a couple of times, but sometimes that's intentional because it is a school after all. <laughs> Don't want to make it super comfortable for all the students, right? If it was super comfortable for all the students, they'd be like, <clears throat> during their studies, right? <laughs> oh, but you've got a trick today. Harry Potter is going to show you how the game of Quidditch was meant to be played. Gryffindor! Ah, Gryffindor! <laughs> I'm going to Castle Walk. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, at the load unload area at Forbidden Journey. Can't wait to come back in here because I've missed it. It's been like two months. It's going to be three months here soon. We exit into Filch's Emporium. By the way, I just uploaded a video about Filch's Emporium. Check out the iCard sanitation just popped up on the top right corner of the screen. It's a pretty good one too. Whoa, there goes Hippogriff. Right now, Forbidden Journey has a 135 minute wait. Yikes. You know, I've never, ever, during my days here at Universal, I've ever seen it this busy. Since I started working here, literally. <laughs> and I haven't been here for very long, so. Wow. This whole queue line is filled up to the max. Jeez. Universal Studio Tour currently has a 65 minute wait. So unfortunately it doesn't look like I'll be able to get down into the studio tour or even the back lot for today. So we'll just have to see the studio tour from up here, looking out towards the back lot. There it is. We can see one of the mazes being built right there. That was the home of Saw last year. We know that the first purge is over by where Asher's Evil Dead was last year, which is right there. And obviously, we got a maze right here. No word as to what this one's going to be, but more updates will be coming soon. The line for Simpsons is coming out of Krusty's mouth. Jeez. It says it's a 50 minute wait, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be an hour now. Yikes. So not a whole lot happening here in Springfield, but the population has significantly increased. We're gonna head down to the lower lot. See what's going on down there. Here we go. Here's a look at what's going on with the maze down there by Revenge of the Mummy. Not a whole lot to really show, but I can tell you right now, it is busy packed right now on the lower lot. Oh my gosh, there's so many people there. I don't know if I'll be going fully down to the lower lot, but there it is. That's a good view of it right there. <laughs> For those of you who keep asking me where would Super Nintendo Land go, my best bet, right there. Because there's a lot of land there, plenty of land to put in at least maybe one or two different attractions. Like, you could have one attraction there and one attraction there. You know, it makes sense to put it there because there's, there's just like a lot of land right there. So, my best bet for Super Nintendo Land would be right there. Whoa! Oh my gosh. They got soaked. Alright, so I'm not going to go fully down to the lower lot, but that was Jurassic Park River Adventure. That is the Jurassic Cafe, at least the second level of it, right there. What do you guys think about the idea of turning this into Jurassic World? Well, the plan is to turn it into Jurassic World, so what do you guys think about that? 
I doubt these plants will be going anywhere because, you know, it's supposed to be Jurassic Park and Jurassic World. Oh, here comes, here comes another one. Man. <laughs> they are getting soaked on the ride right now. Heading back into the direction of Hogsmeade. And I want to say something very quickly. We have about three weeks left before we take a break for Nighttime Lights at Hogwarts, which will return on September 1st through the 3rd. So we do have some dates in August still available for Nighttime Lights. So if you guys have not checked out the Nighttime Lights at Hogwarts show, which is a projection show at Hogwarts Castle, I would highly check out the Universal Studios Hollywood website for more information and even for dates. And I've been getting questions as to whether the Wizarding World Harry Potter will be open during Halloween Horror Nights. The answer is no, not at night, but it will be during the day, like morning and afternoon hours. But once Halloween Horror Nights starts up, it's gonna close down. There he is. It's Shrek. What up, Shrek? Hey, Shaggy. Here comes Scooby Dooing, gang. Scooby! Scooby Doo! <laughs> Off they go. Bye. <laughs> Shark there, shark stuff, toys, shirts, looks like a tote bag, more shirts, and then you have the collectible here. I have this at home. This is really cool. This is a really, really cool piece to have in your Universal collection. You know, I gotta check this place out, the Bates Motel. I hear it's pretty good, like this room service is great, and I hear that the showers are to die for. That's right, folks, the Minions waving goodbye to us because we're heading out of the park, heading into City Walk right now. Let's go. Now, I know this technically isn't really City Walk, but I want to show you guys something over here that's happening. As you're coming up the hill to get to the parking structures to Universal, it looks like they're building some sort of a wall right here, like a boundary wall, because I guess they've been having issues with guests going back there. I don't know exactly. So. This is right by the Frankenstein parking structure, just letting you guys know. Over here in City Walk by the Universal Studios store, Blue is still out here. The Lego figure that's been here for several weeks now. See, so yeah, Blue is still here. And a lot of guests are taking photos with it. That's a lot of Legos. Check it out. The walls are finally down. From being around Vivo Italian Kitchen, we can now see what it looks like. We got these herbs here and these planters here. That is really cool. Looks like they got something going on inside. I see a fire going. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a fire in there. But yeah, wow. This looks nice. There is a fire going on in there. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, there it is. Maybe they're testing out the kitchen, making sure that it works properly, and it looks like it's a sit-down type restaurant where they have waiters and all. Very cool. Little Italian Kitchen, Universal City Walk. Check them out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube apparently. Huh, how about that? Interesting chandelier inside. I see the backwards guest sign <laughs> be reflected off the windows there. Yeah, they did a really nice job. Wow. I love the, the herbs here too. My gosh. That is really cool. Got more over here too. And on the other side over there. Looks like they're going to have an electronic menu right there. So this will be opening soon. Honestly, you guys, that's pretty much it for City Walk. I already went up ahead to see what was going on yesterday, and I didn't see a whole lot of change. So that was the latest update from City Walk, just Vivo Italian Kitchen. So 
On that note, thank you guys so much for watching this update. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. Don't forget, I have three other channels, the Educational Series, the Disneyland Video Series, and the Travel Town Series. Be sure to also check out my Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn pages, as well as my P.O. Box. Thank you guys so much for watching in the scene. As I say in Hollywood, yes, we are in Hollywood. City Walk, in fact. That's a wrap. And by the way, this video was edited right here at Universal Studios Hollywood. All right, see you guys later. Bye!